we want to know if people know the true meaning of why we celebrate this holiday. A lot of students celebrate St. Patrick's Day ahead of time on something students like to call Fake Patty's Day, which is this Saturday. Tonight we will be asking our host questions about St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to start with an easy question. <laughs> is St. Patrick's Day a religious holiday? We'll just go down the line. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I'm going to go with Salitra. My answer is yes. yes. <laughs> Fifteen years of Catholic schools telling me there's a little <laughs> bit of a religious aspect behind that one. So, you guys are right. It's true. Do you guys know why? I have no clue why. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so it's the date that marks the death of St. Patrick, which is the patron saint of Ireland. Okay. On to the next question. So, another true or false. The United States celebrates St. Patrick's Day more than Ireland. Mm. False. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say they celebrate it differently. I'm thinking. Yeah, they definitely do. So I'm gonna say true on this one. I've, uh, I, I know like Chicago dies the river green. I know Boston shuts down for a while, and I know New York goes crazy. So I'm gonna be the outlier here and say that uh, U.S. Oh. blows Ireland away when it comes to St. Patrick's Day. Connor is actually correct. What? It is true. <laughs> it was a minor holiday in Ireland until the 1970s. In the U.S., the first St. Patrick's Day parade was held in New York City in March of 1762 mm. by the Irish members of the Colonial Army. Wow. Wow. Of course, Connor knew it. I mean, <laughs> I'm coming back. I just know it's it's a, I'm just coming back. Connor. Half decade of college, you learn we'll all see these things. All right. <laughs> what was St. Patrick's nationality? Uh, <laughs> Irish? Is that even a nationality? Ireland, <laughs> Scotland, something. Okay. Irish. Sorry. <laughs> Italian. He's actually Roman. Oh, wow. So, yeah, his parents were Roman living in the modern day Scotland. He was kidnapped at age 16 and brought to Ireland as a slave. Oh. After his escape, he became a priest and spent the remainder of his life as a missionary in Ireland. Hmm. Wow. wow. Ireland has slaves as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do you know why people wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Because of the land and the nice weather. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to go and say because the four-leaf clover represents luck and it's green. It's lucky? Yeah. That was way better than mine. <laughs> well, I'm going to say that uh, chocolate milkshakes are brown, uh, strawberry are red, vanilla is white, and the shamrock shake, of course, had to be different, so they went with green. So okay. now everyone wears green. <laughs> nice answer, but it's actually that the tradition says that wearing green makes you invisible to leprechauns, which like to pinch anyone they can see. <laughs> and you were, you were actually right, it is, some people think that green is like a lucky color, mm -hmm. and also uh, to remember their Irish ancestry. Okay, so about the leprechauns, like, leprechauns are real? About like, the what? leprechauns. <laughs> I, don't ask me about leprechauns. You <laughs> <laughs> can't scientifically yeah. prove that one. <laughs> okay. So, what does the shamrock actually stand for? Um, who I suck. Um, love. Love. YOLO. Interesting. I'm just going to go with luck again. Luck. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, baby. You're right. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Go, Connor. <laughs> that was terrible. So, what is the color originally associated with St. Patrick? Oh, it's a different color originally. Hmm. I don't know, red? Okay. I was going to go red, too, red. because Scottish. Wrong okay. Scottish. I, I see a lot of priests wear purple. Purple? You're close. It's actually blue. Ooh, Green was okay. introduced to St. Patrick's Day festivities in the 18th century when the shamrock became the national symbol. Oh, wow. Oh. I should have studied for this test. <laughs> I was about to say. Hey. <laughs> Pop quiz today. <laughs> Learn something new These were actually day. all the questions. Oh. Um, so can we crown me undisputed king of yes, uh, St. Patrick's Day then? Connor won. Connor, Connor, Connor is a leprechaun. It's the, it's the power of the sweater. Yeah, I'm giving everyone pinches for that. You don't have enough green. You can't hide from me. If only we had a pot of gold for you today. <laughs> Trust me, I could, I could use it after a few years of college. But, oh, all right, any, uh, any real surprising ones for everyone, for everyone there? Any wild new facts that no one knew beforehand? So what are you guys doing this weekend? Are you guys ce celebrating Fake Patty's Day? 
No, this, no. This I I clearly knew nothing about this holiday. <laughs> I just look. It's not in my lane, so that's okay. why I haven't really. So you just never it. celebrated before? No, never. And I'm in college. Sorry, I'm lame. <laughs> I'm lame too. You? Um, I didn't celebrate it last year. I'm usually always working this this holiday. Um, and I've never been to one of the parades. I would like to, but unfortunately, I'm working again. So maybe Sunday. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Connor? Oh, uh, Sunday, unfortunately, I'm working, but Saturday I will be out on the streets making sure that uh, the Lord's work is done and making sure that, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're giving St. Patrick his, uh, his <laughs> due, uh, due celebration. And so, how are you going to be celebrating? Uh, 5.30 in the morning till about 2 a.m. at night. It's a long shift, but someone has to pull it. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking a little dancing. Uh, taking it for the team? <laughs> uh, taking, taking as many for the team as I yes. can. Yeah. Okay, but. although we have to stop the discussion here, it doesn't mean you have to. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment what you thought of tonight's episode. We'll be back after the break.